So let's do logs on the most popular uh, calculator probably in the US, the TI-84 Plus. Okay, so let's say you had log of base 525, right? And there's a rule that says that you can take the log of 25 over the log of 5. Why? Well, this one's base 5, and maybe somewhere in here, uh, maybe under math or something, there is a log with a different base. I don't really see it. And that's going to take forever, and I guess you could go to catalog and find it. An easy way is to remember that you can take the log of 25, which is base 10, divided by, which is the number in the bottom, log of 5. So how do we do that? Well, here's log 25, close parentheses, divided by, log over here, 5, close parentheses, enter, gives you 2. Perfect. How about the log of base 10, 25 equals 2? Well, it turns out that the log of a, b equals c is the same thing as a to the c equals b. This rule is going to be very important because you can go from log to a base. Um, so this says x to the power of 2 equals 25. Then you can solve for x square root of 25. Here, second, x squared gives you the square root. And then you type in 25, you enter, and it gives you 5. Here's the log of base 10, x equals 2. Uh, 10, right? 10 squared equals x. Um, we go 10, and then we have the caret, and then 2, enter, very nicely. x equals 100. Well, we probably already knew that. Some anti-logs. 10 to the 2.5. 10, caret, 2.5, enter, and that's going to give you 316.2277, and so forth, which is great, okay? If you look at the log right above it, it gives you the anti-log. So if you press second, 10 to the x, and 2.5, and then enter, it gives you the same answer. Let's do 10 to the negative 1.5. We go second, log, gives you 10 to the blank. You put, you press the negative key, not the subtraction key, 1.5. You enter, and it gives you uh, 0 0.03162, and you keep going. Okay, then let's say 10 to the half power. Um, you press 10. You have the caret key, and then you say 1 divided by 2 gives you half, and that gives you 3.1622, and so forth. By the way, if this is going too fast, pause the video, rewind, and just look at it again. Uh, another thing, if you like the video, subscribe, please. Tell your friends, your teacher as well. Also... Uh, if you want to support this channel, by all means, please uh, uh, use the thanks button. I appreciate that. All right. So this right here really is the square root of 10. And when you have a square root, the base is 2. This 2 is here. That one is there. So really, you go uh, second. x squared gives you the square root. You press 10. You enter. And what do you get? Well, you get... 3.1622, same answer. All right. So how about the log of 8? Again, when there is no base, it's automatically a 10. Your calculator is base 10. So you go log 8. You can close it if you want. You don't have to press Enter. Uh, 0 0.90308. And it keeps going. Okay. Uh, how about... The log of 8 squared. All right. That can be uh, done. We go log 8. And we can use the square button if we like. We close it. We enter it. It gives you 
zero six keeps going. There's a rule that says that the two can go down, and it gives you the log. This two goes down, log a two log of eight. So two log eight. You can close it if you like. Enter gives you the same answer. Interesting, right? Um, okay. How about the natural log of eight? Well, you press natural log, which is down here. Natural log. Press eight. Enter. And gives you 2.079. Keeps going. By the way, this natural log is the log of base E of E, which gives you the same answer. Now, E is over here. E to the X. If you say second E to the X and you put a 1, E is equal to 2.718281 and so forth. All right? Um, so what does that mean? Well, the log of base E of 8 can be written as the log of 8 divided by the log of E. And it should give you this answer. Well, let's see. The log 8, close parentheses, divided by the log, which is over here, log of what E? Well, that's second E, right, to the 1 power. Uh, let's, uh, let's do, can we delete that? Mm, can we clear it? Yes, oh, good. We could put the 1 and then press it over, close it. That's better. Same answer, 2.0794, and so forth. Don't need to know all these steps. I only have them here, not to confuse you, but to make you understand that there's more to it than just writing numbers and memorizing. Okay. Um, so, what about e to the negative 1.8? Well, second, natural log. Negative, not subtraction, 1.8, enter. That's going to give you 0 0.1652 and so forth. All right, then the natural log of x equals 3. If we look at the natural log, that's really the log of e to the x equals 3. So we can um, rewrite it. We use this law e to the third equals x, e to the third equals x. What's e to the third? Second, natural log, there you go, press three, enter. x equals 20.0855, keeps going. So, what that means, if you look at this, it means that if the natural log of 20.0855 with all the numbers, that should equal to three, is that right? We'll find out. Natural log, of the answer, right? Previous answer, close it. Boom, gives you three. Okay. I think that was a little bit fast, and it's supposed to be. Um, just, you know, be aware that you can always rewind the video. But this takes practice. It's about muscle memory. It's about a little bit of memorizing, but also keeping in mind that math has a purpose. And a lot of the times, it's an algorithm that you have to uh, learn. Like riding a bike. It takes more than one try. All right, I'll see you later. Have a great semester. Bye-bye.